Playing the infield in is probably the most advanced rule in clutch baseball. If you can handle this, I think you can handle any other complexity that our game has. The situation here is first and third with nobody out. If there would be a ground ball, remember we just mentioned that Whit Merrifield would actually come in and score during the double play attempt. If the defense announces to play the infield in before the pitch and the swing is rolled, imagine all of these defenders moving into the infield grass. On a ground ball, they have the option of attempting to cut down Whit Merrifield at home plate. This means if a ground ball is rolled on Kent M. Aida's chart, the defense has the choice of using their defensive infield rating against the speed of the runner going home. Now, the offense doesn't need to send him. They have the choice. Whit Merrifield's speed is a 20. The infield rating on this team is an 11. So it's almost a 50-50 gamble you'll be taking. Jose Ramirez will advance to second base. Now the infield was playing in here. The runner, we're going to attempt to send him home for the sake of this video. Jonathan Villar will go to first. He will be safe. We're going to use that infield 11 versus Merrifield 20. A 5. So he is safe. That is a 16. He is safe at the plate. He scores. Jose Ramirez goes to second. Jonathan Var goes to first. He is safe. Everybody is safe. And that is the gamble of playing the infield in. You may be able to cut a runner down at the plate, but you have the gamble of him being safe and everyone being safe. Another example, if we roll a 7 on Maeda's chart again, the offense has the choice of sending Merrifield. So we might think, uh, we don't want to take the risk here. It's no outs. We're going to keep him there. If this happens, the runner advances to second, and the runner going to first is automatically out. So now it's second and third with one out. Scenario number three. This time, Kenta Maeda did not get the advantage. Actually, Jonathan Villar got the advantage with the infield playing in. This is really bad news for the defense because the defense cannot get the runner out at the plate when the batter has the advantage. If the batter gets the advantage and they roll a ground ball, you actually change the result to a single. Imagine them smashing it by the defense with them playing it in. Florida, center field, the Diamondbacks are world champions. That's the one downfall to playing the infield in. Playing the infield in with the bases loaded is no different. A ground ball on the batter's chart will be a single, and a ground ball on the pitcher's chart will automatically make a throw home to the plate. In this instance, we've rolled a 7 on Maeda's chart, so all the runners will be on the move, and we're going to be trying to gun out Merrifield at the plate. An 11 versus a 20. A 16, the runner is out, he's out at the plate, and all base runners advance to the next base. Check out our other videos on the right side of the screen. Remember to hit subscribe and like on all of our videos and go on over to www.clutchmoment.com or check out any of our social medias at Clutch Cards.